scene of the accident, he runs again as a warning to others, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul. Percy, are you telling stories again? Uh, yes, um, uh, yes I am, yes! Percy, what are you talking about? Yeah, spill the coal there, pal. Don't leave us hanging here. The ghost train, guys! The trailer saw it last night! Where? Honestly, Toby, it sounds more like something out of a horror film. Come on, Percy. Where did your driver see this ghost train, hmm? I didn't see! It makes my wheels wall just to think about it! Here's an idea, little brother. Don't think about it. Oh, hi, ha, ha! That's so flameless, I forgot to laugh! Ha! <laughs> Who cares about a silly story from a silly little engine anyway? After all, I'm not scared of any ghost trains. Not even if one of them turned out to be somebody I knew from my days back in Brighton. Oh boy. I get a feeling there's a cheeky idea brewing in Percy's smoke box. Well, Thomas didn't believe a driver's ghost story, Liz! I don't either, you silly engine. It was just a return ghost on TV. And yet, for some odd reason, the engine looked really familiar. I just can't I see. Anyway, come on, Percy. Please come and shoot yourself, I'm coming, Liz! I'm coming! <laughs>
Delta! Yikes! Shut up! Get back! Get back! Sorry, Percy. I tried to get it clear, but it stuck in the rails. Oh, now he tells me. <coughs> oh, great. Mr. Crow's gonna get me now for this. Seriously? An engine crashed could have potentially hurt you, and all you are worried about is flour? What does it matter? I got to get to the next signal box anyway. You had to bring that up again, didn't you? Well, Trojan was the one who told me. Oh, brother! Well, anyway, the, what happened was I crashed into a cart of flour that, that got stuck in the, in the middle of the track. No thanks to a hurry, to a lazy hurry, hurrying farmer in a wisecracking tractor. You're talking about Terrence, right? No, Liz. I'm talking about Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Of course I'm talking about T Terrence! But you better clean Percy, or people will think he's a ghost. Think I'm a ghost, eh? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this is going to be priceless. Uh-oh. What are you thinking? Oh, come on, let's pretend I'm a ghost and, and scare the bolts off of Thomas. That'll teach him to say I'm a silly little engine, as well as hugging too much at the limelight from, from the rest of us engines. Okay, you got me right there. Percy's had an accident. Poor engine. But at the same time, that means I'll be late. What next? They've cleared the line for you, but there's something worse. Out with it, you two. I can't be kept waiting all evening. Who cares? Don't be frightened, you two. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I'll protect you two. Even if it means getting out of work for a few minutes. By the smoke of my chimney chim chim. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll break your door in. Oh, uh, oh dear. It's getting late. I, I had no idea. Oh, I must find Clanny and Arabelle. I, I, I mean, in Arabelle and Ca. Oh, I mean, I must find Annie and Clarabelle. Next morning, Toby asked him where he'd been. Um, well, uh, uh I, I knew you both would feel bad about Percy, so I, I didn't want to intrude. I slept in the good shed and... Oh no, not again. I, I, I'll be back, guys. I, I gotta see a track about a train. I, I, I mean, I gotta train a tra Oh! I mean, I gotta see a coach about a train. <laughs> Where have you been, Cass Percy? <laughs> Very funny, Liz. 
Say, have you seen Thomas anywhere? He never came back after last night. Probably because he scared the nuts and bolts off him. <laughs> oh yeah, that was hilarious. Anyone would think that our Thomas had just seen a ghost. You can say that again, Toby. Anyone would think that our Thomas had just seen a ghost. I don't think she meant that seriously, silly. <laughs> it's okay, Percy. Thank you.